بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد lesson number six the in Arabic we say al al is a definite article which is used before a noun to indicate that the identity of the noun is known to the reader A noun is either definite or indefinite. An indefinite noun can be defined as an unspecific person, place or thing. The indefinite article in English are a and an. They are used before a noun that is general or when its identity is not known. Indefinite noun which is not which is not specified to the speaker or reader is called an nakira in Arabic. In Arabic, we say an nakira for the indefinite noun. Tanween or nunation at the end of the noun is used to indicate that the noun is indefinite. Tanween or nunation at the end of the noun is used to indicate that the noun is indefinite. When we use tanweer at the end of a noun, it indicates that the noun we have used is indefinite. Like we studied in the previous lessons, qalamun, kitabun, baytun, babun. You can see that there is tanweer the last. And we translated it as a book, a pen, a house, a door. We translated it with the indefinite article a because of the rule we studied today that tanween or nunation at the end of the noun is used to indicate that the noun is indefinite. You can see that in the page baitun we have tanween at the end of the noun. It means a house. Baitun means a house. Ta has a tanween, which is an indefinite article. The tanween is indicating that the noun we are speaking about is indefinite. Definite nouns are called marifa in Arabic. Indefinite nouns are called an nakira in Arabic. And definite nouns are called marifa in Arabic. And marifa which means definite nouns which means definite nouns al is added to the start of the noun to indicate that the noun we are talking or speaking about is definite we can see in this page al baytu al baytu al is added to a noun which is bait al is added to a noun which is bait and we will translate it as the house. Al baitu, the house. We will say al baitu when the bait we are talking about is definite or it is specified to the speaker. The nunation is removed and replaced by the corresponding short vowel dhamma. We can see that al is added and the tanween is removed and replaced by the corresponding short vowel which is dhamma in the page we are seeing. Baitun, a house, we can see the indefinite article tanween and al baitu, the house, we can see the definite article al added in the start of the noun and the tanween is removed. It is replaced by dhamma. In the next page, we can see babun. It has tanween at the end, and because of that tanween, we know that babun is an indefinite noun. And al babu, we can see al at the start of that noun, which means that the door we are talking about is definite. We can see that the tanween is removed and replaced by dhamma.
we have translated babun as a door in our previous lessons and al babu we will translate it as the door and in the next page we can see alamun a pen it has the indefinite article tanween and al qalamu the pen which has the definite article al in the starting and the tanween we use in the indefinite article is removed and it is replaced by dhamma hope you all understood the lesson there is an exercise translate the following arabic text in english we can see indefinite nouns and definite nouns you have to translate indefinite nouns with a or an in the starting and the definite nouns with the at the starting this completes our lesson after seeing the lesson kindly whatsapp us your request for receiving the lesson and assignment files subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين